I am trying to convince my dad to get a new hearing aid, but he just won't listen. Today, I'm going to recap a 2020 action thriller film called Knuckle Dust. The film opens with Serena, a young and attractive woman, making her entrance into the underground headquarters of a fight club. Inside, the combat is in full swing. In the arena, Alex, known as the club's top fighter, has already bested three opponents consecutively. Now faced with his fourth adversary, the challenger has no alternative but to run, fearing defeat. However, a vigilant sniper is prepared to shoot the man if he attempts to escape, which compels him to engage Alex in battle. Alex triumphs, claiming his fourth win by slaughtering his foe. The scene then moves to another room, where a fighter by the name of Roy Brody, or Hard Eight, is getting ready for his next match. At the same time, another fighter named Requin, along with his partner TikTok, is in the surveillance room, examining Hard Eight's personal data. The information unveils that Hard Eight has never killed anyone in the fight arena. Elsewhere, two other males named Happy and Hot Lips are brandishing weapons and pounding on an apartment door. Back in the basement of the fight club, a guard named Jeremiah orders the cleaning up of the deceased in the war arena, assigning the task to a cleaning service referred to as Not Now Nigel. Concurrently, Jeremiah heads to the fifth floor to rendezvous with Serena and Requin. Requin initiates a discussion about the eagerly awaited fight between Rawbone and Hard Eight during a meeting. There's a clear difference of opinion between them, and Serena emphasizes that she's only interested in Requin's betting money, showing no concern for the fight's result. Requin, on the other hand, is more focused on ensuring Rawbone's safety, given that Rawbone is his father's champion. Despite Requin's conviction that Rawbone would defeat him, Serena asserts that Hard Eight will fall in the third round. Soon, the much-anticipated fight takes place. As Hard Eight makes his entrance into the battle arena, he receives applause from the spectators. He takes a moment to hug Not Now Nigel, a move that seems to be a ploy to snatch the cleaning service's weaponry. Upon entering the arena, Serena confronts Hard Eight, demanding that he lose the match. To enforce her demand, she shows Hard Eight a picture of Hot Lips and Happy outside his home, apparently ready to kill his wife, Chrissy. Rawbone, a towering and terrifying fighter covered in tattoos, makes his appearance in the arena after Serena departs. The names of his defeated enemies are inked on his chest, and he taunts that he intends to add Hard Eight's name after the fight. Before the battle can even begin, Hard Eight unexpectedly draws a revolver and fatally shoots Rawbone, throwing everything into chaos. Serena then instructs Happy and Hot Lips to kill Chrissy, leading them to disguise themselves as police officers to gain access to Hard Eight's home, where they execute Chrissy. Serena is making ready to depart from the underground boxing club, and she calls her supervisor to confirm plans for the arrest of Hard Eight. While preparing to leave, she comes face to face with Requin, who is filled with fury over Rawbone's death, and he threatens to kill her unless she gives back the stake. However, Serena is quicker and draws a gun, shooting Requin before he can complete his threat. Requin's death is witnessed by TikTok, who subsequently expresses a desire to become Serena's underling. Shortly thereafter, Serena's phone rings with a call from Hard Eight, coming from Happy Cell. Hard Eight accuses Serena of wrongfully killing Chrissy and warns her that he will be coming for her imminently. Clearly rattled by Hard Eight's menacing words, Serena commands Jeremiah to secure all entrances to the club and to set up fully armed guards. Next, she dials emergency services to report the homicide occurring at the underground fighting establishment. Two police officers named Hopper and Mike are the first to respond, quickly followed by another squad of law enforcement personnel, commanded by a woman named Redmond. Redmond instructs her team to forcibly enter the building. Upon investigating the premises, the police discover numerous corpses scattered across all levels of the building. On the fifth floor, Hopper and Mike apprehend Hard Eight, transporting him to the police station for questioning. Despite their efforts to interrogate him, Hard Eight remains stubbornly silent, refusing to divulge any details. At the police station, a female police supervisor named Keaton reprimands Redmond for her impulsive behavior, criticizing her for launching an investigation without awaiting proper authorization. 
Redmond defends her actions, explaining that the raid was justified after receiving Serena's report of a murder. Although Serena was nowhere to be found in the underground fight club's building, back in the interrogation room, Hard Eight nearly assaults Mike and Hopper, who persistently try to get him to talk. Keaton intervenes just in time, summoning Hopper and Mike for additional details on the situation and Hard Eight's identity. Despite recognizing military tattoos that have been removed from Hard Eight's body, Mike reveals that Hard Eight continues to remain silent. Keaton then enters the interrogation room to question Hard Eight about Serena's whereabouts. Meanwhile, in another room of the police station, Hopper and Mike review CCTV footage and observe Hard Eight's murderous actions. In the footage, Serena is seen further provoking Hard Eight, exacerbating his erratic behavior. TikTok later confronts Hard Eight in one of the fighting locations, arrogantly claiming that he can kill him in a mere 60 seconds. However, TikTok's confidence far exceeds his actual fighting ability, and he is swiftly defeated and killed by Hard Eight. Hard Eight then aims his weapon at a hidden sniper, who was prepared to shoot TikTok had he lost. Watching all of this unfold from the control room of the building, Serena's fury intensifies as she witnesses the last two of her associates being killed by Hard Eight. Her anger grows, fueled by the realization of the formidable challenge Hard Eight presents. In the interrogation room, Keaton reveals that they didn't find a single body of a fighter in the building's battle arena. She concludes that Serena must have collected the deceased to bury them elsewhere. Simultaneously, in a separate examination room, Hopper continues his efforts to uncover information about Hard Eight by analyzing his fingerprints. After successfully hacking into the military's computer system, he finds Hard Eight's profile, confirming that he is indeed a soldier as suspected. Colonel Vaughn then contacts the station to inform them that they are en route to retrieve Hard Eight. Back in the interrogation room, Keaton learns of Hard Eight's military background and tries to recruit him to help the police in capturing Serena. Keaton is fully aware that Colonel Vaughn from the military will soon arrive to take Hard Eight away. Hard Eight proceeds to tell Keaton about a distressing military incident where Colonel Vaughn manipulated his subordinate, Benzie, using him for public relations purposes. Vaughn ordered Benzie to venture alone and unarmed into hostile territory to show the brutality of the enemy, but Hard Eight refused to comply, thereby endangering Benzie's life. In another instance, Vaughn instructed Benzie to play ball with local children, relaying the orders through Hard Eight, who was using the alias Roy, so that Benzie felt compelled to obey. Just as Hard Eight feared, Benzie was shot and killed by enemy forces. Meanwhile, Hopper and Redmond continue to analyze CCTV footage from the club, witnessing how Hard Eight eliminated Serena's henchmen and guards. Serena herself, observing the same footage from a different location, grows alarmed as she sees Hard Eight overpowering Jeremiah evilly armed guards. The scene then shifts to the interrogation chamber, where Keaton shares a personal story about the death of her son in the Afghan war. This personal loss motivates her to assist military veterans. Back at the footage that Hopper is viewing, the video now shows Nigel preparing to face Hard Eight. Hopper and Redmond have not yet finished watching the tape when Hopper accidentally presses a button, causing the video file to disappear. Elsewhere, Mike is investigating in the underground fight club building and comes across Helen in a medical suite. She hands him a camera containing photographs of Chrissy's body. Mike promptly sends the image to Redmond, who forwards it to Keaton. A misunderstanding arises as Keaton accuses Hard Eight of killing Chrissy, his own spouse. Hard Eight vehemently denies the accusation and becomes furiously angry with Keaton. The situation nearly escalates to violence, but Redmond intervenes just in time, drawing her gun to prevent Hard Eight from losing control completely. The tension in the room mounts as everyone grapples with the complex and perilous situation unfolding before them. Hard Eight falls to the ground, overcome with sorrow at the news of Chrissy's death. He laments that had he heeded Serena's advice and lost a rawbone, his wife might still be alive. Opening up to Keaton, he begins recounting his initial encounter with Serena after he left the military and was unemployed. Forced to become a fighter for Serena, he was introduced to another combatant named Olex, who was supposedly deaf, 
because Hard Eight can communicate using sign language, he and Alex became friends. Despite stating his unwillingness to kill in the ring, Serena was unconcerned as long as he won his fights. She assured him that the illegal boxing club was safe from raids because she had connections within the higher ranks of the police. Upon hearing this, Keaton firmly asserts that nobody in her unit is involved with the club or Serena. Meanwhile, Mike uncovers a hidden entrance on the third floor of the clubhouse while using the elevator. Venturing inside, he finds a room filled with people. Back in the interrogation room, Hard Eight shares a story with Keaton about a father and son who were butchers and sold human corpses at an upscale steakhouse. After the father was murdered, the son exacted revenge years later. Intrigued, Keaton asks if this tale has any relevance to the Fight Club case, but Hard Eight sidesteps the question. He simply concludes that the son continued in his father's line of work, selling human meat. In another investigation room, Hopper manages to retrieve the lost video footage and observes Serena ordering Alex and Jeremiah to eliminate Hard Eight, who is in the elevator at that moment. The scene shifts to Alex and Hard Eight's confrontation, where Hard Eight assures Alex via sign language that he has never seen him as an enemy. Meanwhile, Jeremiah and his henchmen prepare to attack. Alex appears to leave Hard Eight's body vulnerable, but it's a ruse. Caught off guard, the adversaries are gunned down by Hard Eight, aided by Alex. Although Jeremiah aims a gun at Hard Eight, Alex takes the bullet for him. Hard Eight's fury at Alex's death drives him to chase Jeremiah, shooting him in the shoulder and temporarily incapacitating him. Jeremiah flees to the control room where he encounters not now Nigel, who is angry with Jeremiah's behavior and lack of respect for him. As they argue, Hard Eight enters the room and commands them to look under the table, hinting at a discovery that heightens the tension and mystery of the unfolding events. Under the table, Hard Eight has concealed a bomb, which detonates suddenly, killing both Jeremia and not now Nigel. He continues to search the building until he encounters Serena. Unexpectedly, instead of killing her, they engage in a sexual relationship. She seems to remind him of Chrissy, and he is aware of Serena's secret affection for him, despite the influence of her unseen boss. Hard Eight admits that he is unable to identify who Serena's boss might be. According to Keaton, Serena reported the murders that occurred on the Fight Club's premises to the authorities. She then pressures Hard Eight to divulge everything to her as they have only five minutes before Colonel Vaughn will arrive to take him into custody. Outside, Colonel Vaughn arrives and Redmond welcomes him. In the investigation room, Hopper conceals the CCTV footage and stealthily leaves. Hard Eight ultimately reveals to Keaton that Serena is hiding at her home. Colonel Vaughn then bursts into the interrogation room, dismisses Keaton for questioning military personnel without proper authorization, and takes Hard Eight away. Keaton, aware that her position can't be terminated so easily, seeks Redmond's assistance to investigate the situation further. Redmond looks for Hopper, who has discreetly gone to obtain the CCTV footage. Keaton hurries to Hard Eight's residence, but fails to find Serena. Only Jeremiah's female accomplice, previously held captive by Hard Eight, is there. After Keaton shoots the woman, Hard Eight suddenly appears, uncovering a hidden camera implanted in her stomach. The shocking revelation follows that Keaton is in fact Serena's boss, overseeing the underground fight club. Her rank as police chief allows her to protect the operation easily. In the aftermath of the club's chaos, Keaton tries to find Serena planning to kill her to eliminate any evidence of her own connection. Hard Eight explains why he joined the Fight Club, and it is not for monetary reasons as assumed. Instead, he seeks to avenge his younger brother Ben, who was killed as one of Rawbone's fighters. Another surprise is unveiled when it's disclosed that the woman Mike encountered in the earlier building is Chrissy, Hard Eight's wife, who is still alive. Colonel Vaughn had arrived just in time to photograph Chrissy pretending to be dead as Hot Lips and Happy were about to kill her. Hard Eight's intricate revenge scheme involves arresting Keaton with Colonel Vaughn's assistance. The disorder in the building was deliberate, and it was he, not Serena, who reported the murder. Meanwhile, Hopper is revealed to be a subordinate of Hard Eight and Colonel Vaughn.
with the responsibility of securing the videotape, adding another twist to the complex narrative. Keaton suddenly realizes that Hard Eight's narrative regarding the father and son who were butchers is a reflection of her own life, as her father was a perpetrator of war crimes. She becomes fed up with Hard Eight's lengthy explanation and formulates a plan to kill him. However, Chrissy is positioned behind her and fires a tranquilizing bullet at her. In the end, Keaton is arrested and put behind bars, while Serena is set free due to her collaboration with law enforcement authorities. During a conversation with Colonel Vaughn, Hard Eight reverts to using the name Roy. He makes the decision to re-enlist in the military, as his quest for retribution for his younger brother Ben remains an unfinished task in his life. If you enjoyed this video, don't be shy to hit the like button, and if you disliked it, hit the dislike button twice, just to be sure. It would be best if you watched the whole movie. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe for more videos like this.